into the topics. Um, yeah, the Suga's uh, approval rating continues to slide. Well, obviously, he so he, he, he his support is collapsing. From, I've been hung in there for a long time, but basically, you can sort of see he, he had a honeymoon. Uh, when he came in, just that people were glad to finally get rid of Abe. But uh, yeah, between the uh, basic, and it's basically based around the way that he's mishandled the entire um, pandemic, or at least has been seen, been seen to be. I mean, from the outside, I, I realize that sounds strange as well, because Japan seems to have gotten good results of the pandemic, even though it hasn't been as coercive or hands-on. In fact, and you could say the fact that Japan hasn't had a coercive lockdown and still has gotten relatively good results seems to imply there, there are world leaders in parts of the world getting praise for handling the pandemic much worse than Japan is handling it. So why is the Japanese Prime Minister getting so bashed up about it? Well, things like, you know, basically for the money politics based uh, go to travel campaign making, you know, as well as the fact that uh, the government's reluctance to call um, the state of emergencies early to take to take proper measures. You know, the basically, people see the government as being passive and, if anything, restraining good responses to this. I do think that uh, a successful vaccination campaign will help turn it around. Of course, the other problem really coming for the government after this is uh, uh, all the money being spent right now, uh, and that will need to be spent to reboot the economy after all this is over, when this finally comes to some sort of a conclusion. I don't think it's ever going to come to a complete conclusion. They're going to have to raise the sales tax. I mean, the, the Ministry of Finance has been trying to get, get the next bump from 10 to 15 percent, maybe even 20 percent. But even when they raise it 2% and 3%, the governments normally lose elections immediately just based on that. Japanese do not like paying more sales tax. So, you know, even if there's good times coming, uh, there could be bad times coming for Suga as well. He's got a really tough job there again. I mean, his reform agenda, if he can get it done, the the, the digitization of government, the use of IT, the modernization, there are, there are a lot of things that he's come in sponsoring that I really hope he gets done. Uh, and I don't want him to have all of that derailed uh, through the go-to travel campaign and stuff like that. So we'll see how he goes. But um, oh yeah, and the ambitious climate change policies and so on, I, I definitely want to see those things survive. But right now it's all in danger because he's just been a doofus. Uh, although, you know, Maury's probably making him look good, so that's a good thing. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> E D D I R. That's right. Japan. So, but this is exactly the point. Uh, as Dan H says, Japan has one of the lowest sales taxes among in the world among developing nations. The Ministry of Finance points this out. Uh, yet, even the the tiny uh, sales tax that Japan has and the small incremental increases have brought down the LDP. Uh, the only times that the LDP has ever been kicked out of power since World War II were all directly connected to the sales tax. The introduction of it in 1995, the increase of it, the debate about increase of it, um, basically it, it always brings down government. So people in Japan, you know, don't like to pay sales tax. Uh, I agree, it's actually a reasonable tax to pay. New Zealand was actually one of the countries that pioneered the GST. Um, New Zealand has, a, has an electoral system where basically there's no separate executive, there's no separate chambers, it's basically like a city council, the New Zealand government, it's just a, which means that when you elect the government for three years, they're basically a dictatorship, you do get to vote them out after that, but they have a complete free hand, so long as they have the majority of numbers in one chamber of government, they can do whatever they like. And yeah, they, they had some economists in 1984 who decided, yeah, let's try a sales tax, and it turned out to be a very effective way of collecting tax. And it caught on. Um, so New Zealand's partly to blame for people who don't like it. But obviously uh, it replaced a 66% income tax rate that we had in New Zealand and Scandinavian countries as well. Um, they have similar, very, very high uh, income taxes and so on. They found that, yeah, you can actually um, have less, you can have a lower sales tax collecting as much revenue as a much higher uh, income tax. So there's, there's benefits to it. But man, it, the problem in Japan is, is that uh, the increases in sales tax are not matched with offsets of other taxes because frankly the government's been spending decades spending more money than it has so it's got to find extra income.